I'm choosing the can for this experiment because it's got very thin walls and metal as a conductor. So the temperature on the inside very quickly becomes the temperature on the outside, right? And that's why I'm gonna use this. Now, when the air gets to the dew point, water comes out of solution. The water will come out of the air and you'll get dew. So to find the dew point of the room, I'm going to first put some water in just a little bit. Now you don't wanna put a, very much in and the reason why is you're gonna need room in the can. And I forgot one other tool. That's a good tool to have. So, I'm gonna take out some ice. And, now by the way, this is an experiment that's good to do slowly. Break some ice, put it in the can. And if you have a thermometer, you stir it. I don't have any thermometers here, but you wouldn't be able to read a thermometer on the camera anyway. So you stir it. Now as the ice starts to melt, the water inside is getting colder. And since metal is a very good conductor, the metal is gonna be the same temperature as the water inside. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing down the temperature of the water and the metal. The water on the inside is getting colder and the metal on the outside is getting colder. So I'm gonna add a little more ice. Did somebody just leave the meeting or come in? And it's gonna get colder. Swirl it around. Now, by the way, I've gotten a little um, water on the outside. Try to keep the outside as dry as possible. And the reason why is as we get colder, eventually the temperature of the water is gonna drop below the dew point. And when that happens, well, the temperature of the outside of the can will also be below the dew point. And try to get that piece of ice in. When the temperature of the outside of the can is below the dew point, you should start to see dew forming on the outside. Now, you should always go really slow. Um, every time I do this with students, they're all, somebody just rushing, just shoving ice in there, shoving ice in there. Well, what happens is they drive the temperature down so fast that they just go racing past the dew point. And the next thing you know, the outside of the thing is covered with dew, but they don't know when it started because they just hurried so fast you go very slowly. You go very slowly. Keep drawing your hands. Mix it up very slowly. And the idea is you, that it takes a little time for the dew to form. You want to basically be able to see it the moment it starts showing up. You don't want the temperature, you know, you don't want to hit the dew point and then drop 10 degrees before you see the dew starting to form on the outside. So you put it in there. It makes a funny noise too. And you just keep getting colder. It's nice and slow, nice and slow. Oh heck, I just realized something. I paused this recording. I will resume this recording. Um, so by the way, if you're on the recording through Loom, um, you missed part of this, but I've got a recording on a tripod here. So that'll be uploaded to YouTube. In the meantime, in the in the meantime, in the meantime, in the meantime, I'm continuing to break up the ice. Now, okay, I am beginning to see at the bottom there is dew forming. It's very hard to see, but it's a little bit. This is why you got to go slow because it takes a little time for it to collect. But if I rub it, you can see just barely that if it's smeared there, I managed to rub a little off. Um, I'm hoping that with the phone camera, it's a better picture. You can see how I can wipe it off there. See how I wiped it off there at the bottom? So it is starting to form. So we are at the dew point. So at this point, if I have a thermometer, I could just stick the thermometer in, boom, whatever it says will be the dew point. I don't know if you can see it over here. Let me. So you can see the dew there it's starting to fall. Oh, that looks really nice, yeah. And I can wipe it off to show you that it is there. So we've reached the dew point. Um, 
And there you have it. That's how you find the dew point. Just take the temperature of the water in the can, and that will be the dew point. But um, when the coronavirus is over, we'll all be doing this as a class in the future. But I'm sorry. But the virus is totally not my fault. I totally had nothing to do with it. So there we go. That ends this lab.